Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Beard and Mike, and we're taking a look at Resident Evil for the Game Boy Color. This is my first Game Boy Color game. Ah, uh, there's a bit of a backstory on this, and it's kind of interesting. So why am I playing a prototype? Well, actually, there's a, uh, a patch that you can play the Game Boy version um, that it, you don't have to go through the cheese. So this wasn't, of course, it was like 90% finished and now you can apply this patch to play it without using like cheats and all that so it's still a little rough but it's a lot playable i didn't get too too far but i'm gonna show you how far i got and i'm going to talk about a little bit about this so let's stay tuned so apparently they were working on a uh, resident evil game for the game boy color back in 99 and they try to make it as faithful as the original uh, Game Boy, I guess, for the uh, PlayStation. So that year's E3, they actually announced, uh, plus a whole bunch of other games, that uh, Resident Evil would make an official appearance. The game itself got pushed back and pushed back, and then finally in 2000, uh, Resident Evil officially declared cancelled. Of course, I'm giving you like the Coles Notes version of exactly what happened to this game. Like, I'm not telling you about the company. What I'll do is I'll put an article that gives you more details if you want to keep reading about this, either in the in the uh, comments below or actually as one of those little card things that uh, YouTube keeps uh, bugging me about. So just like in the original game, you either pick uh, Chris or Jill. So at the beginning, I decided to... Uh, pick Chris cuz I'm a guy he's a guy let's play a guy graphic wise I think that's actually quite well um, I think it's a, a nice uh, basically a translation to the Game Boy Color considering the limitations of the technology um, like I, I recognize the rooms and it almost plays very faithfully to the actual original PlayStation 1 game a lot of the secrets are there, so it's almost like I was instinctively going to this area right here and picking up the uh, the shield. I remember that from the original PlayStation 1. Or just around the corner over here, you get to expect to see the zombie. We're not talking about the full uh, video quality, but I guess you get the idea of the horror you find. So this is when I found out Chris is not very good at this. He only has a knife, and I remember that from the original game, he only had a knife, and Jill was the one with the, the weapons. So when I selected the knife, it was hard for me to determine if I'm actually stabbing him or not. Apparently not, because I fail miserably. It really shouldn't matter who I pick, they're all blocky, I can't really tell the difference. Jill is blue, Chris has green, and Jill is wearing this beret, so that I can, I can tell that. And also the cheesy dialogue, it's all in here, and it's really a shame that it wasn't released. And of course the save system, when you buy the ribbons, or sorry, when you pick up the ribbons and then apply them to the save game feature, so that's in there. One thing I notice is really funny is when you actually shoot the zombies and they actually don't fall over, they kind of just kneel there. They're dead, it's just they just kneel there. It was kind of creepy. <laughs> so that's my look at Resident Evil for the Game Boy Color, a prototype that was never released and I applied a patch so I guess more playable. And of course I'll give you the link below for the mod. If you like these kind of videos, please click on subscribe or give me some thumbs up. Until the next video, this is Bearded Mike, signing off.